Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? My name is Chris, your Mike Guy, and in today's video here, we are doing the most epic battle of the budgets. In the ring here today, we have in the red corner, the Zingyu ZY007, and in the black corner, we have the Niwer NW700. So 007 versus the 700, both microphones that come off of that same design style, trying to be the best budget microphone that you can buy in the XLR package format. These both came with a boom arm, shock mount, XLR cable, and a pop filter in their kits. The only additional piece is that the Zingyu did come with a USB sound card and an XLR to three and a half millimeter cable if you wanted to try to hook it up that way. Something unique, something different. Didn't really use it, but just something that I thought was kind of cool that they tried to get it to where even if you didn't have an interface, you'd have an opportunity to use the microphone. So with that, um, again, this was this is going to be just a side-by-side -side review, listening to each microphone one at a time here, going back and forth. I'm not really jumping up and down, not really expecting a huge amount of quality here, but I wanted to see something, putting these two together and trying to identify price-wise what you're really getting. Now, in the video here today, I'm going to list the current prices if you were to buy these on Amazon, because I think that's really the main place you get these kits for these microphones. I don't think you find them in, you know, most stores or anything like that. So um, it, it'll just be a way to tell which microphone is a better buy. Again, I think these are usually floating $50 or less. So it, it's something that if you have an XLR setup, you really could go with an SM48 or something right in that price range already, right? I don't think there's a huge reason to buy these right out the gate unless there was something where like the Zingyu comes with that USB sound card that you can convert the XLR to three and a half millimeter or something like that. Uh, it's one of those odd things, but something cool to check out. Anyways, I was requested to do the 007 700 side by side. And I really, really just wanted to meet the demand here. It's one of those, like, I appreciate that I have them both, but it's one of those, like, I don't really like comparing them. They're not my favorite microphones to do. I don't really have full tests set up for them. They're just kind of side-by-sides. If I want to throw them up against another cheaper microphone, which is what I'm doing here today. So, anyways, guys, just take a listen to the sounds. I'm going to do some quick side-by-side -side readings and just give you guys the exact audio flip twice so that way you can hear the same sentences back and forth and we'll see how that goes. Being a Florida resident myself, I just grabbed something fun and lighthearted out of a Jacksonville newspaper so that way we'd have something just to kind of place and read against. So, article related to MTV, so let's see how it goes. MTV is marking its 40th anniversary with a relaunch of its iconic image of an astronaut on the moon with an MTV flag planted nearby. MTV is marking its 40th anniversary with a relaunch of its iconic image of an astronaut on the moon with an MTV flag planted nearby. On Sunday, the media network unveiled a large-scale moon person during a ceremony at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. On Sunday, the media network unveiled a large-scale moon person during a ceremony at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The new design was inspired by a moon person image created this year by Kehinde Wiley, who painted the portrait of former President Barack Obama for the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. The new design was inspired by a moon person image created this year by Kehinde Wiley, who painted the portrait of former President Barack Obama for the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. In an interview this week with the Associated Press, MTV Entertainment President and CEO Chris McCarthy said that the image of space travel fit well with the spirit of its young audience. In an interview this week with the Associated Press, MTV Entertainment President and CEO Chris McCarthy said that the image of space travel fit well with the spirit of its young audience. This is our third generation that we're reinventing for. Gen Z is by far one of the most interesting, incredibly creative, and optimistic generations, he said. This is our third generation that we're reinventing for. Gen Z is by far one of the most interesting, incredibly creative, and optimistic generations, he said. Let's go back to the origins and do it with NASA. But really, do it about the next frontier, which represents Generation Z and really represents a beautiful moon person that Kehinde built 
and where we're going to be heading next. Let's go back to the origins and do it with NASA. But really, do it about the next frontier, which represents Generation Z and really represents a beautiful moon person that can be built and where we're going to be heading next. And that's going to be all for our video here today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip. I hope you guys enjoyed that little reading and just gave you an opportunity to hear these two microphones side by side. Again, battle of the budgets here, red versus black. Which one took the lead? You guys tell me what you thought down in the comments of the video. If you guys liked the video, give me that thumbs up. If you guys really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of the player window here so that way you guys have an opportunity to get notifications of new videos coming out. With that, my name's Chris. You're my guy. We'll check you next time.